Oh my god. Oh yeah. <clears throat> She's half the size of a skiff, man. Oh my. Alright, everybody. Well, I am drenched in sweat right now because we are in Florida and it's 150 degrees by 8 a.m. every day and the humidity is about 5,000% by 8 a.m. But we are switching it up in today's video nonetheless. We are not gonna be fishing on either of these kayaks today and I have recently acquired a new toy to fish one which is this just ball of rubber in the driveway right now. I know it does not look like much but it is the all new inflatable fishing skiff from Newport Vessels, the NS-130. And the goal is going to be to take this out for the first time and catch a monster tarpon off of it, which is probably not the smartest thing to target as it is my first time fishing in this thing, but that is going to be the goal of the video. And I always do this in the kayak, so this is going to get me out of my comfort zone and be something different. So I'm excited and this is going to be an awesome video. I have no idea if this is going to be like a legendary video or if it's going to just be an ultimate failure, but... Either way, there's only one way to find out. But the first thing I'm gonna do is roll this thing out, show you guys, give you guys a little walkthrough of this skiff because it's super sweet. And we're gonna take this baby out tarpon fishing and see what we can do. So I'm gonna set the camera up here, try not to die of heat exhaustion, roll this baby out, and get it ready to slay a monster tarpon. So let's go. All right, guys, we have this thing all laid out in the driveway. And to blow this thing up is pretty easy. It comes with a hand pump. And when I first got it, I was like pretty concerned that it was going to take me like 30, 40 minutes to set it up because my kayak I just throw in the water. But it only takes about 10 minutes with the hand pump. You probably could get an electrical pump to take a little bit more time off of it. But I just use the hand pump. And there's going to be five valves that you have to blow up. And they're going to be on the side gunnels here. So there's going to be two right here and then two on the other side. And then the floor mat over here will also have one that you need to blow up as well and just make sure you follow the directions on each valve it'll say like inflate and deflate and what you need to do um, i for the first two times i tried to set this thing up i was trying to inflate it when it was turned down to deflate mode and all the air would just come rushing out so to avoid being an idiot like me just make sure that you just read the inflate and deflate and there's a little screw in there that you just fiddle with and you'll figure it out so we're going to take this pump here and i'll just do one um one of them and show you how quick it is and then we'll uh show you guys a full layout of it all blown up all right so i just threw the floor mat in but like i was saying you'll have inflate deflate on there the valve pin will be right there it has to be pushed up to uh, inflate it and the hand pump is super easy you just put that thing in there twist to the right it'll tighten down and then you just have to, to use the hand pump to blow it up so we'll do that real quick Alright guys, we have this thing fully blown up as you can see. Super sweet colors on it too. And I just have an NT300 tiller also made by Newport. And you'll just have these clamps right here. And you'll just tighten that onto the back rail right here. And then it just connects to the battery right here. And this is a Newport lithium battery. They're going to come out with a new one as well. But this is a 30 amp hour. And I've had it out for like 3-4 hours and done and have not drained the battery all that much on like 75%. And then he'll also have um, an extension that you can buy for the tiller as well, which I have. And they do have other accessories like side rails, seats for storage and stuff, but I just wanted to keep mine super simple. I'll probably just put my bait cooler on there, which I'll have my crabs in for the tarpon fishing. And I'll probably just sit on that because I want enough room to fight these fish and be able to move around a ton. I don't want to be like crammed up with a bunch of stuff on here. So I'm going to keep this super simple 
and just fish on it. But that is basically it for the install for this skiff. And this thing is sweet looking and I'm so excited to go catch fish on it. I know you had to bear with me. I'm not the best at explaining things and I'm good at catching fish sometimes. So that's what I'm supposed to be good at. So that's what we're gonna do now. I think I'm gonna go inside, prepare for tarpon battle and get some water in me. But I'll probably just take a quick video of me throwing this thing on the T-bar in the truck real quick so you guys can see that. And then we're finally gonna go get this baby on the water and catch some fish. So I'm excited. Let's get in the AC and hopefully slay some tarpon in the coming days. Let's go. All right, y'all, we just got out on the new Newport skiff here. We are going to be trying to catch a massive tarpon in this thing today. I just got to the spot and they are rolling all around me this morning. So uh, we're going to rig up a crab and see if we can't sight fish a massive tarpon from this little skiff. I'm excited. A big tarpon just rolled right there. Let's get it. All right, we're tarpon fishing today and we are using a Pisky Fun Elysios 400XH on a St. Croix eight foot extra heavy musky premier rod. This is my go-to tarpon setup. And we're gonna see if we can hook into a big tarpon today. Let's see if we can't find a big one right in front of us guys. They're rolling everywhere this morning. Right here. Big tarpon rolling right towards the crab right now. This should be the money. This should be the money, yup. Giant, absolute giant tarpon. Absolute giant, absolute giant, boys. It's a monster. It's a monster. Oh my. Oh, it's a giant. This fish is huge. This fish is huge. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's a giant. It's an absolute giant. This is gonna be a fight, boys. On the new skiff. I'm trying to just get her head up. She's so big. I'm gonna wear herself down. Just towing us around. Come on, girl, come on up. It's a ton of bricks. She's a ton of bricks. Look at that fish. Here she is. She's half the size of a skiff, man. Such a big tarpon, such a big fish. So much heat on her right now. We gotta get her into the shallow water so we can land her. But she's a monster, that's for dang sure. We'll use the engine to kind of tow her into this shallow water if I can. I don't know how it's gonna work out for me. But bad. Uh, 
here she is. There she goes. Off she goes. Whew. Man, what a fight. All right, y'all, we lost that last one right at the uh, shore there. Honestly, I preferred it because it was a safe release. This thing swam off as strong as you could ever want. And there's still a bunch of fish out here rolling, so I retied now. And we're just gonna cruise around again. See if we can't get one to eat. Oh my god, that's a giant. These are giants right here. Absolute giants. They're gonna smoke this. They're gonna smoke this, dude. They have to. One's gotta smoke it. My heart is pumping out of my chest. So damn hard right now. Got him! Yeah, baby! Come on! That was so sick. That was so sick, dude. Oh, yeah. Absolutely incredible. I needed to go away from this boat though. Because I might be able to get away from it. This is not good. I don't know. See if we can get our hands on this one here. That shit never gets old. It's probably time to try to power her into the shallows here. Basically, I'm by myself, so it's hard to land these fish in the boat. So what I'm gonna do is just use the engine here to motor this fish, hopefully, into the shallow water up here. If I can, drag her up here. She ain't gonna like it, I know. Um, oh boy, this is not... I know she doesn't like it. She 
Turn your head. Turn your head. It's all right. She's swimming off good. She swam off good. She's gulping for air. Swimming off just how you want them to. Just like that, she's back into deep water. Ready to go again. Landing these fish guys is super challenging when you're by yourself. And uh, these fish are both over 100 pounds there. So um, there's not much I can do. I try to get her, try and get their head turned and get them close enough to where I can grab them. She kept running away from me and uh, yeah, but that was so insane in those first couple jumps. So much fun, man. It's unbelievable. And uh, yeah, let's get back after them. There's some tarpon rolling right up here. Let's see if they are hungry. Yeah, they're hungry. Oh my god. Oh my god, Joel. That was crazy. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that was the craziest fishing clip I've ever got. Oh my god. Oh, here he comes again, and there he goes. Uh, <laughs> oh my Lanta. <laughs> it bro. <laughs> that was the highest tarpa jump I've ever seen. <laughs> it was like 15 feet in the air. <laughs> oh holy. I'm shaking. Heart's pumping out of my chest. I probably look like I Got hit by a bus or something, but I've probably slept like maybe nine hours and five days just fishing nonstop for these freaking things. And <laughs> let me tell you, I thought that thing was coming in here with me. I thought I, I saw my light flash before my eyes. And uh, yeah, that was bad, dude. Jeez. What a freaking specimen. What a freaking specimen. y'all well we are back at the house just cooking some dinner and it's safe to say we got a proper butt whooping from those fish today but when it comes to catching tarpon in a kayak or this skiff it's gonna be a battle nine out of ten times you're probably gonna lose but that's why i like it so much is it's so challenging but what i do want to note is that this video is going to keep going until we land a big tarpon out of the skiff so i'm not going to give up that easily I also want to add in that I'm giving away one of these skiffs for free on my Instagram. So I'll link the description to my page um, and that post and you just go there. If you enter before September 19th, before midnight, 
your entry will be included, and then the winner will be announced uh, on September 20th. So if you haven't already, just make sure to go over there and enter the giveaway. But uh, other than that, I'm going to lick my wounds here at the house tonight and uh, get a game plan for the next couple days and get back out there and hopefully slay that giant that we're looking for. So I'm starting to burn the ground meat here. So I'm going to shut up now. Let's get back to fishing. And this skiff's nice, you can stand up on the uh, gunnels like this. At a higher vantage point. And just be able to see what we got going on. Haven't seen a bunch of fish, but there's one right there. There's one right there. <sighs> Big tarpon on. Very big fish. First one we saw. First fish we saw. Put a perfect leading cast right in her face. And she could not resist. <clears throat> this is the hardest part of the fight, guys. Trying to get their heads up and just get them up and wear them down because they are so dang strong. We got a leader, but she's digging still. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. It's not locked. She's gonna go under the sailboat. We got her, y'all. We got her. We got her. There she is, y'all. She goes. We just landed 100 plus pounder from the kayak, not the kayak, the dinghy, the Newport NS-130. I don't know how any of those pictures or anything turned out because I'm only really concerned about getting that fish back safe. And she swam off super strong. She was biting my hand real good. I'm sweating to death. That was like a 15 minute fight. That was like a 15 minute fight. Unfreaking believable. These fish are so dang strong. So dang freaking strong, man. I can't even put into words how much I love these fish. That was a grueling battle, man. Grueling battle. And they're starting to roll again right in front of me. So it's time to get back in the fight. Back in the fight. Back in the fight.
Oh my god! Oh yeah! She's half the size of a skiff, man.